It's 1967. The R&B mega hit Respect drops and goes straight to number one on the top 40 charts. The World's Fair in Seattle had just put Washington State on the map with a space needle pushpin. And Boeing launches the 737, a plane that will become the best-selling aircraft in aviation history. But in an inconspicuous vineyard in eastern Washington, another historic event is unfolding. A small winery is crafting its first vinifera, or European-style wine under the label St. Michel Vineyards. This vintage was the quiet beginning of what would become, 50 years later, the thriving, sophisticated wine industry of the Pacific Northwest. It would also give Washington State a little of the respect referenced in the 1967 hit. Few knew when Chateau Saint-Michel began cultivating European-style grapes in the Columbia Valley that Washington would eventually become the nation's second largest producer of premium wine, second only to California. But quantity is only part of the story. Quality is the main character. Chateau Saint-Michel has been named one of Wine & Spirits magazine's Wineries of the Year 22 times and has received 18 Top 100 Wines designations from Wine Spectator. All this has attracted the attention of some of the world's most distinguished vintners. The Antonori family from Italy, Ernst Lawson from Germany, and Michel Gassier and Philippe Gambi from France all have come to Washington to partner with Chateau Saint-Michel and create some truly remarkable wines. The pioneering vision that gave birth to an industry 50 years ago is still going strong today. Old world style grapes may be at the root of Chateau Saint-Michel's success, but cutting edge technology, innovative modern winemaking techniques, and environmentally sustainable vineyard practices have kept the winery at the forefront of the industry in the 21st century. It's now 2017. The small winery that released an unassuming Cabernet Sauvignon has, to use a winemaking term, aged well. Chateau Saint-Michel has earned the respect of the winemaking world, and its first five decades were just the beginning. Here's to 50 years and 50 cheers for remarkable wine experiences from Chateau Saint-Michel. The best is yet to come.